produce PhDs in Pakistani languages like Punjabi, Pashto, and uh, uh, Sindhi, etc. And, uh, uh, and still, uh, I think the journey is on. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, I, I think I have, uh, I have a very humble contribution uh, towards that, yes. Hmm. Sir, uh, now uh, we can uh, ask you, sir, that uh, what do you think that access quality and quantity, how we can manage this triangle in uh, this uh, mega university? What do you think, sir? To be very frank, sir, I would say yes, we are facing challenges. Sir, we are facing challenges to maintain uh, the quality and not to disturb the quantity. Uh, but I must uh, express that the Vice Chancellor uh, has been taking interest and uh, very recently you have seen that new people have been inducted Sir. at uh, different departments like Department of Examinations, Registrar Department, uh, Regional Services, uh, Faculties. But still we need to do a lot more because the encouraging thing or the challenging thing is, as the Vice Chancellor was sharing uh, just last week Sir. in a meeting that uh, this semester uh, perhaps we have got more than the number of students has increased about uh, 200,000. 200, so this is really a challenge. But with the vision uh, which, which, which is being followed now, uh, especially if I talk of regional uh, campuses, because uh, if you go to regional campuses, you have seen our own buildings, yeah, well equipped uh, with audio video system, with the uh, video conferencing system, with having their own uh, halls, uh, workshop rooms, classrooms. I hope that if it continues, sir. inshallah, we'll be able to meet the challenge. That's good, sir. Sir, uh, what do you think that, as you mentioned, uh, answering my this uh, question, that uh, we we are facing challenges. Mm. So, what do you suggest? What uh, would be our vision for future? Let's say twenty years. What we have to do to maintain our uh, position yes. and face the challenges we are facing. Mr. Basit, you have worked very closely with me, sir, and I'm very pleased to mention with the views that. Uh, in different capacities, I would say in responsible capacities like secretary Sir. of very important committees. Uh, you remember that I have always been emphasizing, I have always been mentioning uh, autonomy, decentralization. Sir. And I'm very pleased uh, to know that the registrar in a meeting was sharing with me that they have already started work on that like he was mentioning that they have sent some deputy treasurers to regional campuses, uh, big regional campuses like Faisalabad, maybe uh, some uh, deputy controller. So the journey has started on th that level also because if uh, this trend continues, we have to focus more on our regional campuses like Lahore Regional Campus. Sir. Maybe uh, a time comes that we have uh, an additional vice chancellor there or pro vice chancellor there and going, uh, giving him or her an autonomy to conduct examinations according to their situation, to offer classes, to offer programs, whereas the center is here. So in future perhaps we need to do that. Maybe um, the vice chancellor has already started to work on that if you remember so he has got approval from the bodies that he could send academics from campus to regional centers, like we have our own academic team, for example. Uh, if I could say, I would mention that, uh, let's say there's a region and we need to have uh, lecturers or assistant professors of English there, so that we don't have to appoint tutors. Uh, those teachers work themselves there, they take their classes, they uh, evaluate their assignments and do other academic things. So I think if we go uh, take into that direction, we hope that we will be able to meet all these challenges. Inshallah. Inshallah. Sir, one thing more. Uh, what is the importance of international linkages 
with different institutions. You were mentioning Manchester, you were mentioning yeah, institutions over there at US. So uh, our present vice chancellor is also focusing on international linkages. So what do you think that this would be beneficial for our future strategies? Mr. Bassett, there is no doubt in that. I'm very pleased to share with you, with you that once vice chancellor was not uh, present on the campus and I was invited to a ceremony which was organized by the Faculty of Sciences, uh, the Department of Chemistry, and uh, a professor had come from Germany. Mm. And they had developed some uh, linkage programs uh, with that university. So it is very important because uh, we share our experiences, our expertise. Uh, they could learn from something from us and we could learn from them. And then in this modern age of computer, uh, mobiles and uh, internet and all, everything, uh, nobody can be alone. So we have to be linked uh, to one another in some way. I, I, I really appreciate these efforts, uh, what so the Vice Chancellor yeah, has yeah. been doing. Yeah, and inshallah, you will see that in future, uh, we'll be doing more. Perhaps as I wish that we could also have some uh, program, especially for our department, because uh, with the passage of time, English language is getting more and more importance, I mean yeah, to say. Yeah, of course. So, we need to develop uh, such linkages, such programs that we could learn from them and we could share our experience with these things. This is something very, very uh, good, I would say. And uh, especially, I must mention that in this, uh, these three years, perhaps, uh, the work done in that direction cannot be compared in, uh, with the work done in the past. And it would be boring fruits, inshallah. Yes, in yes, inshallah. It has already started, I would yeah, say. Yeah, it already started, course. yes. Uh. Sir, thank you very much. Always I learned a lot when I'm sitting with you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Mr. Basit, for you. giving me this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank nice of you, sir.